Hello everyone, I'm the Gilly Gamer, and welcome to another guide for Botania. Today we will be going over the portal to Alfheim. But to go over the portal, we have to go back a little bit, and look at some of the steps to get here. Now, first off, we need this. A Terrastellar Agglomeration Plate. And to make this, you need Three blocks of lapis, one block of mana steel, runes of water, earth, mana, air, and fire. In that order. To make this the agglomeration plate. And you need to place that on five living rock in an X. And the other spaces are lapis. And then you have this, the agglomeration plate. Now, to get mana from a mana pool to the plate, you need these, sparks. And to make the sparks you need 6 blaze powder, 2 mana, d two mana petals sorry, of the same color, and then 1 gold nugget. And the 2 petals are supposed to be of the same color, and you need 2 of these so you just duplicate this recipe. These are sparks, and when you place them down, they automatically link up. Now, to make the one piece of terra steel, you need one mana steel, one mana pearl, and one mana diamond. Just toss them on, take a step back, and there you go. These little effects happen. You can see the mana transfer, but there's also one more thing. If this was a normal mana pool, to make one piece of terra steel, it actually takes half an entire pool. So it will be right down the middle, right between the end. To make, ah, here we go, one piece of terra steel. And it doesn't take that long. Now you have your terra steel. Now, if you want, you can make armor, or you can make weapons out of this, or using some of the other recipes in Botania. But, Let's come over here and make the portal. Now, to make the portal, as you can see here, we need one core, one elven gateway core, three pieces of glimmering wood, eleven pieces of living wood, two mature pylons, and two mana pools. And I place it on this pedestal because it, it just looks nice raised. It just looks mighty and powerful when it's raised up. But you can place it anywhere you want, as long as you have those bits and pieces. Now, let's see how you make these bits and pieces. Now, to make the three pieces of glimmering wood, wood, you need one piece of living wood and one glowstone dust. And that just makes one. And you do that three times. Another interesting thing about the glimmering wood is, it actually emits a little bit of light. It emits it light four, four blocks out, and it actually is a pretty nice way to light some areas up. Now if you try to make a more natural build using living wood, you can just throw this in for some light so creepers don't spawn and blow up the build. Let's just toss it down. Next we need the elven gateway core for the middle there. Oh, tree grew in the way. You'll need six living wood on the end, and then three pieces of terra steel nuggets. Again, one ingot of terra steel is one nugget. Oh. Next up, you need these, the mana pylons. To make the mana pylons, you need two gold, two mana steel, and one mana diamond. And you'll make two of these to turn into the two Natura pylons. You need the nug you need the six nuggets. I'm sorry, the three nuggets the pylon and the ender pearl and the a ender pearl sorry and just again duplicate this twice to get the natural pylons oh. we'll get that now if you just want all of the bits and pieces to create the portal itself plus the pylons and the mana pools you'll need 17 living wood 10 living rock 4 gold 4 mana steel 3 glowstone, 
two Mana Diamonds, two Eyes of Ender, and just one piece of Terra Steel. Sorry, wrong button. And, but one thing we have to do is power it. And you might have got caught a glimpse of that, but we have to power these Mana Pools. And it does take a bit, probably about enough in this Mana Pool is to start it. Again, that is still, this has still been up for quite a while. And you can't use the passives anymore of the Hydrangeas and the Day Blooms. Because if you do, they will passively despawn. They will wither. And then you just have to make new ones. Which can eat up resources fairly quickly. And I think I've actually found another way. Not as efficient. You do have to do some manual labor. But that's if you're only using Botania and Vanilla Minecraft. If you're using other mods, you can easily automate this process. Now, you have these trees here. Let's actually get rid of them for now. And throw down some saplings. Now, you may have already saw them. Let's just grow these saplings up. And there's some trees. And these are munch -dews. Now, the munch dudes eat leaves. And let's see if we can actually get some of these to work. Uh, they... Oh well. We'll come back to these when we can actually hear them start to work. Now, one thing actually about these is the munch dudes just only eat the leaves, and they leave the logs. Now, you can just mine them up, put them in chests and save them for later, or you can generate even more mana from them by using an endoflame, which by using a burnable substance such as charcoal or normal coal, generates mana. By simply having a furnace, a hopper, and a dropper, There you go. The munch juice. Eat them. And they generate a... Now that's a single tree. Completely filled up the mana spreader. And almost completely filled up the munch juice. And that's just from one tree. If you have a whole array of these set up, you can make even more. Now we have... Oh, pick that up. That's going to break the cycle. Now... One thing you can do with this is just have a little lever next that you just continually flip when you need to, but you're going to have to stand next to that for the entire time. So I've automated it, again using only van vanilla Minecraft or the materials given to me through Botania. Now I have this monstrosity setup, and this is actually a little over 90 repeaters in order to correctly time out the length of time that when this piece of charcoal is used up, another one should dispense, or relatively close to that. It's so that you can just place a bunch on here, but they won't all be consumed at once. It takes a little time. And using what I found to be 90, I have more here because I was just testing it out earlier until I actually looked it up. I actually looked it up, timed that, and did the math, and it comes out to about 90. See, one was consumed, and here's the other one. Now, again, this just go down, snake around. If you know more about redstone, you can probably make this look a lot nicer. Probably make some art out of it or something. Or, if you're using some of the mods, because I'm using a mod pack, there's probably a device in here that does it. Just that I solely want to use it in vanilla Minecraft or Britannia solely to show you that to get this to work you don't need another mod that you might only use for this time reset. Now that you haven't generated this mana, what can you actually do with it? They collect in these pools. It's gone up a little bit. These are probably still... yeah. 
these are going. They don't actually generate a lot for the pools. But now we have this portal. But not only do they need star to power, they also need to be maintained. I don't have this system correctly set up, this is just to show you. So let's move into this village here. And where I have a correct setup. With a bunch of the everlasting pools, because you can't place the everlasting pools here, they won't actually work. So, you just go up to here, you take your wand, it doesn't have to be on function or bind, it can be on whichever one, and then you just right click the core, do, do, do. here you go, you have the portal to Alfheim. Now let's look at this, and it look, uses up actually a lot smaller than I thought, I thought earlier it actually used more. Now, let's look at Britannia, and let's look at some things you can do with it. Now, if I come over here and grab a Lexica Britannia, kind of like the one I... But you know what? I don't want this one. I want a new book. So, here we go. Again, Lexica Britannia saves my book bookmarks from before. When I can make some others, and again, it would just save them. But, shh, quiet. Nah, I should have really got rid of these guys. Oh, sorry for the noise in the background. But, if you actually look at this, I have this book that doesn't actually know much. When I go with the Alphamancy, it only has the portal. But you know what? Let's actually give it to the elves. Came at that end. Aha! I now have an elven grade Lexica Botania. This, a little stuff if you would like to read. Best regards, the Council of the Elven Grade. So, if you want to read that, that's there for you. But you also have new items. So, we have the Ritual for the Gaia Guardian, the Relics of Asher. Resources of Alfheim, which we shall go over in a moment. But also, if you go, you have some other items. Which I shall go over, which I will go over in a later video. The flowers. The green ones are the new ones, so on and so forth. But let's go over what you can get out of these portals. Just switch, oops, let's just switch these. Now, first thing you can get is the, name of it, the Elementium Ingots. To get those, you give them two mana steel, and you get one ingot. That simple. Now, it is a two to one ratio, so if you want to make any armor or anything, you need twice as many mana steel, but again, mana steel is just iron in a mana pool, and it doesn't use that much anyway. Now, let's toss in a mana pearl. So we get, ooh, what's this? Pixie dust! Again, can simply be used in some crafting recipes. Now let's throw in, now we have this nice mana glass, we can use for our homes or something, but I want some better glass. Let's give them to the elves and ooh, let's give them some nice elf glass, which again, if you want, you can use to spruce up your house, get some. Let's actually move this over because I actually never really paid close attention to these. They actually give you some. Wow, they actually give you some interesting designs on here. Doesn't it really seem to be. Oh, that's actually really cool. I gotta look more into this. If you can get it in the right. It looks like it's location based. Yeah, it looks like it is. Actually, yeah, it looks location based. So if you can get something good, you will be able to make some nice houses, or you can use it for crafting. Now, let's give them a mana diamond. Let's see what they want for that. Ooh, I think coming at the other end. Odd. We have a dragon stone. Again, crafting, and lastly, nether quartz. Get some elven quartz. 
significant. All of these can be used different senses of crafting. If you want to get some wings, you can use it for that. And again, that's what you can get for everything. Well, that's it for now for at least this video. Thank you for watching. I've been the Guild Gamer. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, it is greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more gaming content, please feel free to check out the other videos on my channels. And if you want to know more about this mod, I will put a link to the playlist in the description. Well, thank you all for watching. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Fireworks. Yay.